Joining me right now, presidential historian Doug Weed. Doug, I I'm going to let you take it. Why is this so historic, and, and, and why was nobody else able to do it? Well, <laughs> Trish, I love that opening, by the way. That's very <laughs> clever and frustrating to hear all of that. But uh, I woke up this morning. I was uh, doing hits all night long, and I woke up this morning was stunned. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> Yeah. In terms so, of the coverage, right? The, the, the no, angry I, headlines and the glass half full. and No, that's, that's comic relief for me. I was stunned that he got this agreement. Oh, it's so okay. high profile and so important. Uh, I'm amazed at the people, well, they, they know better, who are uh, dissing uh, this event. I mean, here's a very high profile promise. Yes, he can break it. The Koreans have done that in the past. But this is going to be a tough one to break without repercussions, without the whole world united against him. And it empowers Donald Trump to take military action, to, to make an agreement like this before the world and then back out of it would be very belligerent. Wow. I think this was a great victory for America and for peace. Now the proof is in the pudding, right? Now we have to have the checks and we have to make sure they're following through and doing what they have promised to do. I mean, some critics would, and by the way, like full disclosure, I think it's great. I mean, the day that I heard that he had accepted this meeting, I felt a little bit of relief, Doug. I really did for the world because we need, we need peace. We need to remove this, this extreme threat. Uh, it's, it's not right that, you know, Kids in America would have to go to bed worried about North Korea potentially bombing us. That can't happen. That can't exist. We need to do something. And I've always said economic pressure, if properly applied, is really the right way to go. And this is sort of, you know, a, a carrot or a stick approach. And he has an opportunity now, Doug, to grow his economy in ways that they've never been able to do. Will he take it? Yeah, uh, the, the thing that's frustrating me, Trish, again, I hearken back to your opening comments, is uh, it looks like Kim Jong-un is going to have the American news media behind him to help him during this process. That's astonishing. I said I watched some of the other channels for comic relief. I noticed mm -hmm. they made, it, made a big deal about the American flag. I don't think I've ever heard them ever defend the American flag. What is it doing next to this North Korean flag? So I thought that's a switch. And then they were attacking a, a communist country, saying how terrible Kim Jong-un is, and he is. But these are the people that embraced Fidel Castro, who tortured people for years. So at last, the news media is attacking a communist. What a switch. But, but if the, the, Kim Jong... Okay. There's an ulterior motive, isn't there? Gordon Chang there, was talking well, about the, this yes. just yesterday. The importance of having a uh, maybe not actually united Korean Peninsula, but at least politically on our side, perhaps, Doug, instead of China's? Very much so. And uh, taking away the pressure that's on Japan and uh, on Australia. I have many friends in Australia. They, they, when uh, Kim Jong-un threatened a nuke to Brisbane, Australia, that, they felt it there. Our news media didn't even report it. And they, our news media doesn't even report the threats on Japan that have been going on for years. And uh, so, yes, they feel what Trump has done. But you saw how the media treated uh, uh, Trump in uh, his uh, inner exchange with Justin Trudeau. It's all about money. The, the French and the British and the whole world wants our money. Clean mm -hmm. up the environment. Our taxpayers clean up the environment. Our taxpayers pay for our defense yeah. so we don't have to pay for our own defense. Mm -hmm. And the national news media is helping these countries uh, prey on the American taxpayer. Wow. Give up your money. So uh, I It would be nice hope, if, if, if the media would get a little clarity. What is your hope? And then I, I got to run because we get another update. <laughs> well, to to my it. hope is that that Trump is right, that by bringing back some of these forces from Korea, uh, we get a little bit of a financial break as well as we watch the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula continued. It's a great day, a great day it for is. the world. It really is. And, and, you know, we have what I call a front row seat 
to history. And if you are watching this program right now, you're part of it. I mean, Doug, mm. we're watching history be made every single day here, every single minute. So, Doug Weed, good to have you here, a historian you, that you are.